Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at creating a basement in Revit. Currently, what I have here is uh, a door and some walls, and it's all on level one, and we're going to make a level below it. So I can see I have level one and level two in my floor plans. I'm going to go over to the elevation view, and I'm going to the architecture tab. I'm going to click on level. This is going to allow me to create a new plane that's below level one. So I'm going to click over to the left. And then to the right, snap so it lines up. It comes in at level 3 as default. And it's at a negative 10-foot elevation. So it's 10 feet below level 1. I'm going to double-click in on the name. I'm going to name it Basement so it's less confusing. It'll ask me if I want to rename corresponding views. Say yes. That updates the text in the uh, project browser. I'm going to go back over to level 1. Now I'm going to create the foundation walls. If I create a foundation wall, it comes in as 12-inch concrete, but it's set to a depth. So I'm going to create it in level 1, so it sends it down to a depth of my basement level. I'm clicking on the wall command. I see the basic foundation uh, concrete wall, which is a default in the uh, type selector for walls. So I'm going to click on 12-inch concrete. I'm going to choose finish face exterior, and I'm going to be clicking on the exterior side. I have chain selected, so I'm just going to click as I go, and it's going to keep telling me in the bottom right here that it can't see it in this view. That's fine. And I'm just clicking around clockwise, otherwise I'd be drawing my walls inside out. And then if we go to 3D, we can see that we have this concrete foundation wall. And currently it has a uh, base offset of 12 feet. Um, that's allowed for a concrete uh, pad floor underneath it later on. So I have these walls created. Now what I want to do is go to my basement level, and uh, we can draw our floor for that, and we can choose a generic 12 inch. I can pick my lines for that floor, check that off, and now we have our floor drawn. Okay, and we can actually see that the floor has come up and Right now, it's uh, a 12-inch floor, and my foundation wall goes a little bit below it, and that could allow for a footing or something below the floor. Uh, we can also adjust the height of this if we'd like to as well, but we can set it to a negative 11, and it would line up with our floor. In level one plan, I'm going to now add stairs. So I'm going to go to my stair command. I like to draw them in this level first so I have an idea of where they line up, and then I send them down to the depth of the basement. Uh, it's the easiest way I found to visualize stairs in Revit. So I'm going to go over to the stair command. We'll just do stair by component, make it a little bit easier. And we're going to draw basically um, our stairs in position of, of approximately where we want them. And then um, once we know we're kind of where they're going to lay, I can then send them down to the basement level. And I can also hit spacebar and change the direction of the stairs. Um, so really, you can just kind of place your stairs in the shape that you want them, and you can manipulate them after the fact. I'm going to check that off so they're finished. I'm going to take my stairs, and I'm going to move them a little bit tighter. So I highlight everything a little bit tighter to the wall here to save some space. And then I'm also going to click on these stairs and send them to a base level of the basement now, and I'm going to have them go to a top level of level 1 and say apply. Now if I look at them in 3D, we can see that our stairs are in the basement and they're going up to the level, level 1. Now, there is a problem here. My foundation wall is thicker, so I do now want to go to the basement, click on the stairs. Let's move them out of the foundation wall, and now they're going to look a little bit nicer in 3D. And they're going up. I have enough room for landings. Not here, though, so I might want to adjust these stairs and to adjust them. Uh, I can click on them in the plan view, and I can drag uh, the stairs themselves. If I go to edit them, I can change and drag these forward a little bit. And that'll make more room for a landing here. Uh, check that off. And let's take a look again. I have enough room for my landing on the bottom, and I'll have enough room on top. And uh, I realize that it's kind of awkward that it's going straight up to a bathroom, but that's fine. 